Hey guys, it's Crypto Jet. I'm back with another video. So I would like to apologize to my subscribers for not uploading a video as of lately. I know the last time I uploaded a video was back in December. And even before then, I didn't upload as much because I was busy with school, which I still am. But today I have a banger of a video that I would like to share with you guys on a way to supercharge your drip network faucet or your animal farm portfolio using the 100 envelope challenge so stay tuned So how does the 100 envelope challenge work? It's very simple. So what you do is you grab 100 envelopes and you label them from with the numbers 1 to 100. Then you write a dollar amount on each envelope, starting from a dollar, increasing by $1 for each envelope. So basically the last envelope that you have will have $100 written on it. It's a challenge that you see a lot on TikTok and YouTube. So I'm gonna show you this video here quickly with the sound off so that way to prevent copyright issues as you can see here as they written here basically on this challenge here they uh, double the amount here but as you can see how much money they was able to gather as you can see here ten thousand seven hundred ninety one dollars in nine months which is impressive uh, let me show you a YouTube version here um so with this lady here black and blue um like i said i'm going to mute this video or well, not yeah mute it all right so as you can see here Uh, she has different challenges which I like but the one I want to show you she has here with the hundred envelope challenge but as you can see here she has it labeled very very neatly clean with a system that she has here well, she has 12 days envelopes but here, 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 as you can see, as she got here, envelope one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, based off whatever date that she chooses, she will have to pay that amount. So, so for say for example, uh, she picks a random envelope out this uh, box here, and she pulls out a twenty-seven. So that means she's gonna have to take twenty-seven dollars and put it into that twenty-seven dollar envelope. And then after you do that, you stash it back, and then you color or circle or whatever uh, the number 27 so as you can see here she's taking that put it in the box here see I don't have the sound on so I don't I don't know what she's doing here but as you can see here, okay, see for example, she's taking 36, right? She is stashing that, right? She's putting it back in here. She has $54 that she wants to put in here. Or whatever the amount is, nah, yeah. <laughs> trying to figure out what she was doing here. There you go. Or 54 and she's putting it in there um, let me see if she goes to the highlighting part I think earlier in the video she already did like the highlighting part but anyway enough of that um, but with this example here this challenge I wanted to take that same formula and apply it to drip 
Now, how would you go about doing that? Simple, simple. So I made it printable for you guys here. So let me pull that up for you guys. All right, so this is the 100 envelope drip DCA challenge. This will be a free printable that you can download. I will have a link in the description for you to download. So basically what you do, like I said, you will print this, this challenge out, you know, using your printer, of course. And what you would do is you can select how many envelopes you want to do a day, a week, month, whatever. But at you, but your end goal is just to basically fill up these 100 envelopes. So as you can see, the directions I have here, it says color the envelope each time you make a deposit based on the amount that you select. If you do this challenge daily, you should have $5,000 plus saved within 100 days or three months and 10 days. Now, you can potentially supercharge this because not only are you making DCA deposits, right? You're also compounding or I should I say hydrate you're basically hydrating your drip along with the DCA as well. So basically that's going to supercharge your deposits. Right? So, like I said, I will have a link in the description for this. So let's go over this uh, challenge right here real quick. So this challenge right here, you can do one or two things or you can do both. Uh, there's two options that I'm going to give you with this 100 envelope DCA challenge. So the first option is you use a hundred envelope challenge on the drip, drip faucet. So the benefits is if done right, you can save about $5,000 worth once the challenge has been completed. This depends on the current price of drip. It supercharges the compound effect when DCN and regular daily compounding, or should I say, you know, hydrate. It gets you to your max wallet quickly and everybody knows that's the end goal when it comes to the faucet is getting to that max wallet not only that oops not only that allows you to not eat all your funds into the faucet while still maintaining your bills and other expenses so basically with this challenge here you don't have to do this in all one go uh, you like I said you can do this once a day you can do this once a week hell you can do this once a month it's really up to do, up to you. All you have to do is just, if you do this challenge, make sure you complete it. And like I said, I'm gonna show you a live example here of how to do this. So, but before we do that, let's go to option two. Option two says, use the 100 envelope challenge on the animal farm. So basically, here's the reasons and the benefits. What you can do is you can use this 100 envelope challenge to invest in a DCA into blue chip assets on Animal Farm, either through the pools, farms, and or upcoming single asset lending to earn dogs. So basically, let me show you that here on the Animal Farm. So basically, what you can do is you can go here and use the hundred envelope challenge on one of these pools right here right or you can use the DCA challenge on one of these farms here of your choice and we all know that doing that with these uh, blue chips will earn you dogs and um, I know with the upcoming single staking well, the single lending protocol that uh, Forex Shark got, got going on, I was reading this. It says uh, your single state assets in the animal farm pool will earn back end lending rewards in the state token through back end lending. Plus, it will also be earning dogs, which you can use in the animal farm to earn BNB and or BUSD, plus your back end lending rewards. Are auto compounded into your principal without you having to do anything so this is great news right here so it's, like I said if you use this challenge strategy for the upcoming single asset lending 
this would be a major benefit for you guys. And so, like I said, when I saw this 100 envelope challenge, you know, I thought it was a great idea trying to incorporate this into the Anima form and the drip faucet, you know. But let's go ahead and continue. You can then stake those dogs into the dog pound, auto compound, and linear to earn rewards, BNB, pigs, etc. You can use that BNB to dollar cost average back into your faucet or compound your animal farm holdings or anything you want. You can stake those pigs to earn BUSD, use BSD, BUSD for anything you want. You can sell dogs, pigs when emission rates are back high. So what I mean by that is uh, you can see here with the pigs and dogs, they're both deflationary, meaning they're not printing as many tokens when you're staking on these farms and pools. And so basically, if you have some funds on the side like BUSD, BNB, this would be a perfect, perfect opportunity to buy pigs and dog at the current price, not financial advice by the way, which can mean they can potentially go back in the future. You know, we have a lot of utility coming out in March for the drip network, you know, such as the UI. Uh, I know that we have the drip drop draw feature coming. Uh, we know that the drip garden will be going on to the drip network page and it will be leaving the animal form which is pretty good news and a couple other games you know that's that's coming out like the dog roulette game and other things so basically like I said this is a good strategy that I'm giving to you guys whether you want to apply it that's on you if you still believe in the drip network ecosystem I would recommend this envelope challenge for you so let's go ahead and continue here the potential upside to blue chip price which you can stake and sell later for profit to stables that you can stake back into the form so let me t show you what I mean by that alright so this is crypto bubbles this is what I use to check out price you know based off of volume based off of how much uh, price went up or down during the month a year this is what I look at the most during the month and the year so basically I'm when I say you know you can take profit based off of the price of crypto you know the potential upside the blue chip price which you can stake and sell later for profit to stables so basically let's uh, take Bitcoin for example as you can see the price is currently twenty three thousand seven hundred and thirteen uh, I have my own personal take profit levels I'm still working on this but I will eventually share this with you guys right now so let's look at this right here so Bitcoin as you can see um, 23,765 so basically at this current price range I would definitely be buying more Bitcoin and what I mean with the dollar cost average strategy that you can do is you can take that Bitcoin and of course you can stake it here on the pools where is it where is it right here BTCB which is the Binance smart chain version of Bitcoin you can stake it here you can earn 8.33 percent of dogs which is very you know pretty low which is understandable because as you can as we know that it's in deflationary mode right now and also I'm pretty sure once Forex Sharp releases the single lending feature that we would get higher APRs you know with the lending feature single staking uh, lending feature that we will have higher APRs than this but currently right now at the time of this video is 8.33 percent now like I said I have particular price point ranges that I want to eventually sell my Bitcoin later to stables and going back here as you can see any one of these price points right here, you can see buy one, buy two, buy three, buy four, buy five. I will continue to buy crypto until it taps around the 42,000 range. 
Now, eventually, I'm gonna hold, continue to hold my Bitcoin until it reaches maybe a price point of 47,531%, as you can see here. Once it gets into that range, I will sell 5% of my holdings. And what I would do is, once I get 5% of that, of whatever that amount is at the time, that would be converted to stables, and I will go back here and stake it maybe into the BUSD pool to either get that 14.46 amount, you know, APR, or whatever the APR is once uh, Forex drops that single lending uh, feature that earns, you know, potentially, I think he said 15 to 25 percent more APR, which is damn good, you know. But anyway, and also like not only that, it's gonna also earn me dogs, which like I said, I can go here and stick it into the dog pound, you know, to get more rewards, which is very, very smart. So yeah, like I said, I have different take profit levels I wanna sell at. And eventually if price, you know, ever gets to sixty eight thousand, I've already I will by that time sell 30% of my holdings or if price gets to 76,000 you know around that time I'll sell the, sell another 35%. So all in all if price gets to that level I I probably already sold all together 35% of my bitcoin holdings. And that's how you take profit guys. That's how you take profit. But like I said I'm not going to share this right now. Um, I'm still working on, on uh, the tokens that I want to add to this uh, take profit list. Um, that's not to say if Bitcoin will reach at this point, but obviously if price goes down even more or could just continues to be under 23,765, I will definitely accumulate. But you know what? No, 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 no. If price continues to be, you know, to stay under forty-two thousand, I will continue to accumulate, guys. So that's that's what I meant. Not under twenty-three thousand, but that's even a perfect opportunity if you know Bitcoin decides to tank down even more, because the whole goal is to talk dollar cost average. So, so that's how, um, that's how that this is how that challenge works with the Animal Forum, guys. So, like I said, you could do either the hundred envelope challenge on the drip faucet or you could do the hundred envelope challenge on animal form or you can do both if you have enough money you know you can do both um either way you're gonna make money guys but let me go ahead and show you a demo of how to do this All right, sorry about that. So let me go ahead and we on the animal farm. We'll go ahead and connect the wallet here, just to show you this example here. And like I said, I was gonna put the fifteen dollars here into the BUSD to stake, just to you know show you the example of the DCA challenge. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put fifteen, pause it. Sometimes MetaMask be acting acting weird. Uh, hold on one second. Deposit fifteen. All right. Uh, it said fail to fail to stake, but. I can see right here it was staked here and as you can see here even though it's not fifteen dollars you know due to taxes as you can see fourteen dollars and fifty five cents worth has been staked here uh, but you can still go ahead and mark off the fifteen dollars showing that you did it here but like I said I recommend that you have separate pages one for your faucet and one for animal form it is not recommended to do 
this 100 envelope challenge doing both drip and animal farm on the same page so make sure you have separate pages for each if you decide to do both animal farm and the drip faucet with this challenge so with that said guys i hope this video is of value to you if it is please like this video if you're new to my channel please hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so that way you'll be notified of my next video release with that said guys you guys have a great one and a blessed one